Hi, good morning, Nevada. It's uh, John Kohler, your co-host for Nate's Neighborhood, and this is Nate Boley. Hey, guys. Well, happy uh, Sunday. Happy Monday. Yeah, Nate's Either or, or if you're checking us out on YouTube. Yeah. Happy be. middle of the day in your underwear, whatever you're doing. Yeah. Right, this is episode 17, uh, yeah. so that makes us the longest-running and most popular real estate program in all of Nye County. And that is not even like a that's, creative a tool. A that's, a real, that's a real fact now. Yeah, it's Look actually it's been codified. So. Yeah, I yeah. like it. And uh, so if you haven't been uh, by and checked out Nate's Neighborhood before, uh, for the first half of the show, we talk smart real estate trends, uh, practices, uh, finance, all kinds of... We've had all, all kinds, kinds of, of fun stuff. Home inspections, pest inspections, foundation issues, right. what to buy when, what to look for. Right. Yeah, it's all about information here. Yeah, so a lot of information in the top half. In the second half, we actually sneak into some of the houses that are around. And uh, yeah. today, uh, this is one of your listings, isn't it? The, the new... Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, 30, when we can actually use the address on this one. That's All right. 3220. 3220. Perron Valley Boulevard. Oh, yeah. that was a nice neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, as we as we toured through it, we, we went through it earlier this week, and uh, I liked it. It seemed, you know, kind of quiet. And, and, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a great place. It's just, you know. Centrally located. Yeah, centrally located. Um, kind of right in the middle of town. Nice So you neighbors. can get to everywhere. Yeah, nice neighbors. You got a mm -hmm. half acre lot there, so you're not scrunched in like some of the folks across the street from you. Right. Uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll get to that here in a bit. And we've got some, uh, some stats, some numbers. I always like these because, you know, like real estate, everybody says, oh, it's your number one investment you ever make in your life. And that actually, these, these stats kind of bear it out. How, how did our investments do out here in Nye County this, uh, this last month? <sighs> pretty well, pretty well. And strangely, <laughs> the, the biggest thing that, uh, that caught my eye was when I looked at the stats yesterday and this morning was how much it's back from 2018 up until this point. So, yeah, once we get into those... Oh wow! That's, um, yeah, that's just it's it's such a stark contrast. Right. You'll Most of those, these uh, those graphs statistics going up and up. Th this is like twelve months. So in twelve months, kind of this is the progress that it looks like. Yeah. So up. in a lot of cases, this is going to give you a year by year. This okay. one that's behind us, oh. and we'll, we'll get it, you know, blown up here in a moment. But ah, there we go. Yeah. So this one here is average sales price. Average sales price. Yeah. So the blue line is Perum. Okay. Red line is uh, Las Vegas. Looks like they parallel each other, but we get a, lo uh, a yeah, little better the, value out here. Yeah, you get a little bit more bang for your buck, obviously. Everybody knows that in Perum. But if you look, I mean, go back to January of 2018. We've got in Perum, you know, average sales price looks like it was about 175 grand. 170, 175 grand. Right. That's 2018. Flash That's forward 2018. three years. Yeah, flash forward to, well, just in, at the, the close of last month because today is the first. Yep. Uh, yeah, and you're 260, 265, and that's your average sales price. So, so there's there's tons of value there. Yeah, if you bought a home January 2018, this is the graph for you. Right. You know, obviously. Wow. And you look at Vegas. You know, January 2018. And granted, in 2018 we were still on that upslope. Right. You know, it really started in 2015. Right. But you can see where it really took off here. Uh, late 2019 into 2020 and all right. of 2020 and of course 2021 has been more of the same you're getting a so ton more just, value so you wow. went from yeah you went from 275 mm -hmm. in january of 2018 for your average sales price in vegas and goodness they're right at 400. <laughs> yeah so your average sales it's price almost is a double bubble Those yeah guys. yeah i mean that, that's let's see one end has gone up oh goodness over a hundred thousand dollars Wow. And Las Vegas, yeah, has gone up, goodness, almost one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Wow, one hundred forty-ish. Yeah, so it's it's quite the contrast, um, and 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 really these, you know, these are actual factual stats that right. we get from LVR, Las Vegas Realtors Association. Right. And even it looks like uh, there's a little steeper curve just in the last year of the yeah. three. I mean, you can see yeah, that kind can, of a, a it's it's a fairly significant uptick. Yeah, and if you're, if, you know, strangely enough, as a realtor, when I get into this graph, I can click it and open it up, and I can go kind of month to month, week to week even. Right. Uh, and you can kind of pinpoint along that graph where the lumber issue started with the raising lumber costs mm -hmm. and where the raising concrete prices started to take effect. Mm -hmm. um, and then within, within you know, if, if you added a third line to that to show the new homes being built, right. those have gone way up, obviously, because of right. the lack of, of resale listings. Uh, and granted, in, in Pahrump, that start to even out a little bit. Pahrump, right. Amargosa Valley, kind of everywhere around except for Vegas. Uh, so right now in Vegas, you're still, 
you're still swinging for the fences. Right. Yeah, you know, if you're going in at, on a $340,000 home, you should probably expect to go 350 or higher, you know? Right. And that's, that's just the way of the world in Vegas right now. And granted, that's the majority of the country. Can we come um, back from the graphic? I just, yeah, I was just looking, yeah. getting, getting bored staring at all that success. <laughs> You're just money. like a genius. Just buy some real estate; it goes up. It's great. That's amazing. Yeah, you feel super smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? But, uh, know, that's that's the beauty of it, right? right. Is that you know who, who could have told you that you would have made that much money in the stock market in the last two years? Right. You know, unless you were telling the future and knew about Dogecoin and all that fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But there again, too. I mean, uh, like real estate's an investment you can live in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Try, try and, you know. Try and do that with, uh, do with your yeah. Dogecoin. Yeah. You know, I was going to say try and do that with a classic car, but I would if I had to. <laughs> if I had to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you get your classic all fixed up out in your yard there, you'd be all set. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, and then at one point, maybe Kara boots me out one night, and I'm literally sleeping in the back of the Impala. Right. And it's just manifest destiny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> who knew it would end up here? I don't know. Yeah. yeah Crazy. Who knew? What's John the time on market? What is that? Is that a, a stat we brought? Or um, is that just one you can spin off the top of your head for us? I just Time on market has actually gone down quite a bit. I'm not sure if that's the second graph that we have. We can pull up the second graph. Uh, and that is price per square foot. Oh, price per square foot. Uh, but time on market has gone from, in Vegas, when I pulled it up last week, it was 24 days. Wow. And in Pahrump, it was 27 days. Wow. Granted, it takes roughly 24 to 30 days to close a loan. So you're looking at... Like three days? And you've yeah, got... you're looking at like three or four days. You're still looking at, yeah, most, most places are still going within three or four days if the price right, if everything's done well, you know, right. and, there's, and there are not any hassles. Right. You know, right now you get a lot of, uh, the tenants will say they don't want to allow touring because of COVID. Right. And that is totally allowable, strangely enough. Um, so that's just one of the obstacles we have to overcome these days. Uh, but looking at the second one, yeah, average price per square foot. So looking at Pahrump, the blue line, January 2018. I mean, that's, that's insane to me. If, if I could find anything for $85 a square foot right now, right. I mean, uh, jump on it, Forget literally. About it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that has come all the way up to, what is that? 140 some odd dollars a square foot, 142 and change. Yeah. And now granted, we've got a lot of manufactured homes out here. Oh, so, so that's kind of those are gonna, the average down. Yeah, those are gonna sell for less. The stick belts are gonna, gonna sell for more, but this is total homes. Right. Um, so on the stick belt end, you're looking at 150 to 175. Be more like Vegas prices. It would be a little like closer that. to Vegas, yeah. And so you've got started at 140, January 2018, right. and you're already over 200. And I've seen, I, I just had a listing close at $212 per square foot yesterday in Vegas. Wow. Yeah. So $200 a square foot is not not a big deal in Vegas right now. You're getting more than that. Right. Yeah. So that's that's an important graph. Was there I mean, another graphic? Come. Uh, graph I think those were, those were just the two. The yeah. two. So we've got just those two. Um, well, that's probably enough information for a minute. Well, yeah, and you know, too many numbers. <laughs> There's some, something that says after like two and a half minutes, people stop listening to number talk. Oh, okay, good. You know what yeah, I mean? Well, so, then, oh, here. We're right about there. These aren't numbers. Yeah, those aren't numbers. Yeah, those are people. These are Look guys. At that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, but, uh, so houses are going very fast. The prices still. are increasing. Uh, the, the values are increasing. So, if you're yeah, holding still. on to a house right now and just, you know, it, it doesn't sound like it's hard to cash. No, it really that was in what, as long you as you're want. a reasonable person yeah. and you don't have all kinds of crazy liens or, you know, reverse mortgage that you just bid on that you shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, if you bought in the last three or four years and you didn't have to make any drastic decisions like that, you should be sitting on a ton of equity. Granted, I do tell folks when I, you know, one of the first things I, I do when I sit down with them is if you're going to sell your home, it's great to pull that equity out but you're gonna take a lot of that equity and hand it over to somebody else when you buy on the other end. Right. Um, so that is something always, you know, to think about. Uh, you know, I, I'd love to sell the place that I bought for 200,000 for 400,000, but am I gonna find something for 400,000 that's gonna match right. what, you just what I just left? Yeah, right. so that's, that's the difficult decision right now. Oh, yeah. um, so it's, it's, you know, it's weird, and it really depends on where you're, where you're shopping from to a certain extent, you right. know what I mean? Because you can get so much more out here than you can in other other states, especially. That's true. Uh, you know, you're not going to find anything under. A, you know, email me if I'm wrong or text me, but I want to say you won't find anything under three hundred dollars a square foot in California. Oh, and that's yeah. you know that might be low. I have no idea. I'm not right. licensed out there, but I know 
plenty of those folks are selling their homes and they're turning around and coming out to Nevada because it's, you know, because it's Nevada. You get better yeah. value here. Actually, yeah. you know, that was one of the things I was thinking about, you know, I was, um, you know, on, on the weather when we do it, and, you know, I talk about the paradise of Pahrump, it's like, hmm, let's see, no hurricanes. Um, yeah. You know, no, no yeah, tidal no, activity, no, no tornadoes, no, yeah, no tidal waves, no fires, not yeah, much the, to burn. The stuff we yeah. worry about here is kind of like, eh, all right. But yeah, oh, it's hot out. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, that's our natural disaster is sometimes it hits 112. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and you the, stay inside. Right. So, yeah. I mean, like, really, when yeah. compared to other places, yeah, I love the high desert. So, yes. It's great, man. It's not, it's, you know, it, 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 it could be worse. That's for sure. Oh, you yeah, I mean? it can always be just worse. Just about anywhere else, yeah. Let's go out to Death Valley. Hey! Yeah, goodness. <laughs> goodness, yeah. And that's not too far. No, no. no not but at that's all. also California, so yeah. yeah. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, though. So, yeah, and we're going to tour uh, the Pahrump Valley Boulevard home coming up. And let's see, it's, uh, I want to say 2,097 square feet, three bedroom, two bath. Um, Felt bigger than that. For 2,100 square feet, yeah, it feels huge. There's a 31 by 15 or 31 by 16 living room. Yeah. Uh, with the quartz encased uh, fireplace. Yep. Which is really nice. But there was another room like just off of that that was also very huge. Yeah, it's just like rooms you... on top of rooms on top of rooms. So yeah. yeah, you've got three bedrooms and two baths, but from the layout, you almost have four and four and two, five and two maybe if you want it, right. depending on what you're going to do. It was an um, unusual layout. I mean, it's not like, a, you know, you see, I mean, we've, we've been, well, this is our 17th episode, so you yeah, see a we've been torn houses. a lot. Yeah. And, um, it is and, a different layout. Mm -hmm. it, it is a little bit different, and, and almost like it felt weird having it laid out like that when you said, wow, you could put another couple bedrooms in here, probably if you wanted, you know. Yeah, it's it's wide open, and it's it, it, the design lends itself to making changes. Yeah. Which is good, because a lot of folks are making changes to their homes these days, uh, even after they buy them. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So yep. that yeah, uh, home improvement uh, and way to build equity too, if you want to, you know. Yeah, and that's that's it. That's you know. On top of just letting the market do what it's doing, which is going yeah. great. So. And all the smart folks will tell you that the best way to best way to build multi generational wealth is through property. Wow. Yeah. Ask Good. around. That <laughs> <laughs> ask, ask old people. They know. Yeah. yeah, excellent. Ask people that own homes that are old, and yeah. they'll tell you. They will tell you. Yes, they yeah. will tell you. Yes. All right. Well, good deal. Okay. Well, uh, uh, yeah, let's come back on the back. other side, do the tour, and uh, we'll see you on part two of episode 17 of Yay. Nate's Neighborhood. Come on back. See you soon. Hi, welcome back to Nate's Neighborhood. I'm John Kohler, your co-host. This is Nate Bully, uh, one of the most amazing realtors I know. <laughs> did I oversell that? that was no, 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 you did great. Yeah, you, you did, did yeah, yeah, yeah. You laid it right out there. One of the top realtors <laughs> in all of Nye County. Uh, we've got a great walkthrough on one of your listings today. This is, yeah. a, this is a fun place to tour. I enjoyed it. It was... Uh, Beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. Shows, and it's shows like, almost like new. Right. I mean, yeah, just well taken care of and a lot of upgrades and right. updates. Yes. And, yeah, an interesting floor plan. Um, you know, it's it, it's it feels eerily similar to some other ones, but well, you'll see it as we get into it. But there's there's some stuff. You know, you look at it like, wow, I could put two rooms out of this one. I could, you know, I mean, I I, exactly. I look at kind of like, look at this. <laughs> I like potential. You <laughs> yeah. know, I like potential. Yeah, this it, one's it, this it one's ready to go. Of, I yeah, think, it, 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 it it's open, but it still lends itself to making changes if that's what you're looking right. looking for. Right, right. It's I mean? a world of possibilities. It really is. So yeah, let's let's hop on into the first frame there. And that's that's the entryway. You've got what is considered a pony wall up front. Yeah. You know, the block wall, it's only about three feet high. I see that. Uh, but it is set that you can, you know, and it's not necessarily in the shop, but you could set that higher. Right. If you wanted to. Yeah. And it's enough up off the street that if you end up with a flash flood in that neighborhood, which I just kind of... Yeah, if you happen to. Um, yeah, it's it's elevated. It's up out of the way. You've got culverts running through there. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the side here through the garage, and you can see the RV gate as well as the side patio, which is a good time. A lot of that um, blue rock, too, which is, you know, Southwest people uh, like yeah. that color. But. Yeah, people enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, the entryway, and this is kind of looking back towards the front door. Right, because there's uh, a lot of little spaces that come off that front door and it's just sort yeah, of... Yeah, nooks and crannies and, mm -hmm. and storage galore, you know what I mean? Tons of closets, big closets. This is from the front door walking in. You get to see that granite encased fireplace we were talking about. Right, that's pretty. Yeah. And, and, and you know, uh, as we come up on some fall days where there's going to be some cooler nights, that'll be it's a nice little thing. Nice thing, nice to have. It really will, yeah. And that opens up 
into this humongous room, which is 31 by 15 <laughs> and a half feet, roughly. Right. Um, so you've got just under 500 square feet of space right here. Right. Uh, yeah. To do whatever with. Right. And you, you know? see the kitchen there kind of peeking around the corner. Which yeah. And that's that's the first kind of, of staring three back the other sliders way. there as well. So this home, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a home with three sliders to access to the back patio. Uh, but this one's got it, and it's right. got a huge back patio. We'll get to that as well. But it's yeah, covered. tons of natural light, yep. brand new flooring throughout, and this is called Choice Oak. Um, it is a man-made, life-proof flooring. This is just so a room just away. kind of off to the, to the left, I think, as you come that in. Is, yeah, that's the den, essentially, and it's got, you can see to the left, its own door there, and there's the door that goes out to that side patio. Right. On your left is the second slider. Um, so you could use this room as an office, uh, you know, a den, another bedroom for someone chop it that's up, living really. there. I mean, you yeah, could, yeah, you could put a wall up right here if you wanted to. It's Here's a huge from the room. other corner. Yeah, yeah, it's a big room. This is 21 by 13. Right. So this is and this, almost as big as, as the primary, the master bedroom. Yeah, and almost as big as the living room too. I mean, just like it just spills right out right from there. Yeah. So playroom, uh, if you're if you're a babysitter, if you're running a business out of the house. Sure. And as we come back out, we get another look at this huge living room. Uh, and granted, the one thing you'll note is technically not there as a formal. Oh. Uh, yeah, but in uh, this okay. case, you know, you've got so, tons of bar space. Boom, there's the kitchen. Yep. So you've got a lot of counter space, and on the right side there, you, you can easily fit four stools. Right. It looks like a two-tiered backsplash back there, granite, and then... Yeah, the top. granite rises up, and then the, the backsplash uh, from, the, from the bottom of that to the cabinets is brand new, maybe two weeks old. Wow. Yeah, so a lot of new, a lot of new items in here, a lot of, a lot of love. Yeah. Yeah. Time, energy, love. These these folks took great care of the place. Well, this is and they did some updates on the way out. And right. here's your laundry room. And there's your laundry room, and those yeah. look like fairly new machines too. Yeah, pretty new machines. I believe they're both Maytag. They do all the appliances transfer with the sale, of course. So that's a plus. You know, your buyers save yourself a few thousand dollars on new stuff. Uh, and it's a decent sized laundry room. Oh, there's there you your are. garage. I didn't get into the garage. I'm glad you took this picture. It was yeah. This is this is nice. I mean, it's it's wide. It's open. It's very deep for a two car garage. Right. Uh, so if you've got, you can maybe squeeze a car and a golf cart behind it, or maybe two small cars. More and like a is, tandem two two car garage. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, and in this case, um, this water system is amazing. It's it's it filters essentially six ways to Sunday. <laughs> you see these two giant filter situations there. So they've got the water right. Uh, you've got the all cleanest conveys. water you can get. Yeah. Uh, well, no, in this case, this is on municipal water. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's about a half an acre, just so, under a half an acre. So this is a step beyond city water. This is yeah. So water they've got um, they've got a septic tank with the leach field, mm -hmm. uh, but they do run on public water. So and that is just to filter the public water. This coming back from the garage, probably. Uh, no, the garage is on the other side of the kitchen here. Okay. This is actually from the fireplace. So as we come back in, you just kind of get a better view of those two rooms connected and how open it is. And I want to say you could take out that middle wall if you wanted to. Right. To you know to open up that little hallway. Was this the one with the hall of mirrors? I was trying to get out of the yeah. picture shot. And yeah. Could, this is uh, this, <laughs> this is great though. I mean, it's so it bright is. and light. In this house, and if you want to look at yourself from all angles, you go down that hallway, and they've got the mirrors set yeah. up like three different ways. Yeah, and storage galore. Here's the third bedroom. Um, again, super clean, very well taken care of. Right. Uh, just great. I want to say this one's uh, 11 by 10 or 11 by 11. The square footage on this one. On this little. T uh, the yeah, on this third, third bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. And that's uh, another shot of the third bedroom. So you're looking out the front window there, or out of the front of the home. Towards the mountains. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, towards Mount Charleston. Here is the spare bathroom. So this one is, is kind of offset from, it's just down the hallway there from right. that third bedroom. It's still yeah. two sinks. Nice. Yeah, you still got two sinks. You've got a large shower. You got the private commode there. So that's a pretty good deal. You know, again, throw in the loofah. The baseboards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. The, uh, the hand soap also comes, I think. Uh, <laughs> hand soap and a loofah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the deal. But again, yeah, lots of light, lots of just detail. Right. You know, the cleanliness, everything about it. Very livable, very just ready to rock. You right. Know? And here's another shot, same bathroom, just a little bit more up close. Got to know what your toilets are going to look like. Right. Is that you know? two, two shower heads I'm seeing, or is that just one? Right. That was a double. Yeah, that was a dual. double. Wow. Yeah. Here's the second bedroom, a little bit bigger than the first bedroom, but I think only about a foot on each side. Mm -hmm. um, and again, tall big, ceilings. deep closets. Tall ceilings, uh, wired for cable. Obviously, I left the cable in there as kind of a you know 
<laughs> to, show, yeah. to show scale. And this is as you walk into the primary or master bedroom. And it's, it's so big. Wow, they've got a nice little uh, nook out there that you can throw a couch or a... Yeah, and so there's our, there's our third slider coming off, the, coming off the master. There's the third slider. Yeah, and, and you get kind of a shot here from the corner of the master. On the right there is the bathroom. That other door is the closet. And you've and got, if you want to make an office or a crib room or yeah, really whatever you wanted to. Because right. it's got its own exit and entry from the home. And so as we come out, we have, this is the side patio. That's just off the large patio next to the RV gate. Looks like you got some good shade there, a nice place to sit down with a glass of iced tea. Amazing, yeah. I mean, <laughs> and you won't find a lot of places that are going to have these, these extras all over the place, you know what right. I mean? Here we come back to the nook, the office off of the master, mm -hmm. and it's a good size. I mean, it's, it's 11 by 11, 11 by 12, so it's not some tiny little room. It's, it's a good size. I think Here's this master is master closet. Master closet, right. Yeah. That's, uh, that is big. We yeah, big two ways. You can turn around big, it's tall big, it's... Yeah, and it's not super <laughs> wide, but it, it goes deep. Yeah. And it's it, there's plenty of space in there. And here's one more shot right there, and there's that huge back patio we were talking about. Right. Um, you can see the slider that's from the other den on the other side there. <laughs> so, I mean, you've got this probably like 700 or 800 square feet of space there out there. A great place to entertain. Can you imagine yeah. just filled up with 300 people? Yeah, <laughs> 300 people, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, here's the other slider on the other side uh, that we just saw from that other den picture off of the master. And yeah, just so much. Extras. Yeah, beyond just so just many extra things here, yeah. How old is this place? It's not that old, is it? I want to say 05, 06. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere in there, so it's not an old place by any means. No, but they've taken, they've had enough time to like sweat in the details, you know? Yeah, exactly. The... So here we go into the master bathroom. Um, and with no lights on, again, pretty bright in there. A lot of natural light in this place. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the shutters, I forgot to mention, are the easy pull uh, plantation shutters. Oh. So, so you can just grab them and pull them down gently or push them back up gently, but they're the actual plantation top, style oh, shutters. Oh, wow. wow, wow. So top notch, and they're brand new. Less Here's than a throne. Six months old. <laughs> Here's a toilet. That is a throne. <laughs> Might I be agree. a Kohler. I don't know. Could, it could be a Kohler. <laughs> could be a Kohler. I like it. A lot of them are. Yeah. Here's our back patio. Again, yeah. huge, huge covered area there. Uh, I, and the last folks did have some uh, some shade stuff uh -huh. up there, you know, because they like to spend time out there in the summer. Yeah. And this is from the back. You can see the septic pump out off to the left. That There's tons of room there. in this yard for your toys and things. Yeah, no doubt. Wants toys, a pool. I think uh, it wants a pool. Another building, a pool. Yeah. yeah, a little casita maybe. There's yeah, room. I mean, there's, there's space. It's a half an acre. There's, there's definitely space. And here's your RV gate. Um, so you can fit and park an RV on the side, and it'll never be in the way of anything in the backyard. Right. Which is amazing. And you've still got a ton of space up front. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, it, it was a pretty uh, ship-shaped house. Yeah, and it's, it's only okay. going for 345. 345? Is, yeah, 2,100 square feet. you got people fighting over this one. I'm, well, we're hoping. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. We think we've got it priced, priced right, so we'll see. Um, and here's your side, what, side exit from the garage? Yeah. And then back to the side patio there. I, I did like the side patio. Just it was, That's you nice. know, noticeably cooler. Like you just walk in, and like oh, yeah. oh, you just, know? yeah, hold dropped diff, like hold ten degrees vibe in there. Great. Yeah, and you're surrounded by stucco in there. Yeah, so it's, it's going to hold the temp in there pretty well. Right. And again, you've got man, you've got space, no doubt. It's uh, it's a really great layout. I um, yeah, it's, it's different. Did, it's not what you continuously see all the time. You know what I mean? You can you can almost take out all the custom homes that you'll tour around town, and you can. You can whittle it down to fifteen or twenty different general kind of kind of layouts. Yeah, design. and this doesn't stick. This to wasn't any one of, those of them. Patterns. Yeah, <laughs> but I think that makes it amazing. Yeah, by all means. Yeah, and absolutely. Here's kind of from the front patio, or sorry, from the back patio. Right. Um, out into those extra lots behind you, and if you wanted to get one, don't we have some know, beautiful western skies and views out the backyard? That we do. Yeah, that looks that we do. Nice. Really great house. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, uh, okay, this will go on Sunday. Yeah. And um, so if you're seeing us now, <laughs> wait, now, what is not it? now, but right. now you got about now. three days to jump on this one. <laughs> yeah. If you work that out, I kind of think, I mean, wasn't that, the, no, well, it goes live. The, it goes live today. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, today being Thursday. Okay. Not on your end. It's Sunday and or Monday, unless you're watching on YouTube. In that case, we just confused you. <laughs> but it's going quick. Big sale. Yeah. They're exactly. blowing out the 2021s, making room for them new model years. <laughs> 
That's a nice house. It is, man. It's a great place. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot me a text, give me a call, 775-513-2491. Uh, it is my listing, so I'm excited to answer any and all questions about it. Right. Uh, and the sellers are sweet folks. Easy and, to deal with, very nice. And if you've got a house that you're thinking about listing, why well, you can see it right here on TV on Nate's Neighborhood. So there you go. That you could. Just so call, call a guy. Call a guy. Very good. Well, that's Nate's Neighborhood for this week, episode 17. 17 in is in the books, yes. We'll Thanks be back much. next week. See ya.